this is the most labor intensive thing you could do on a car in my opinion like i would genuinely rather pull motors than do body work i hate it so much man but like i was saying in the beginning of the video one step back for two steps forward hopefully what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so what we have planned for today is we're going to continue chipping away on the f10 bodywork in order to get it prepped for the vinyl wrap that we have coming up i guess this is the official announcement a couple nights ago i did finally order the wrap i know i've been talking about it for a really really long time now here on the channel but i'm excited to finally have that ordered should be here sometime this week but uh but yeah man um anyways in regards to today's video in an attempt to sort of make it a little more cohesive and maybe easier to watch um what i want to do is kind of make a list or a checklist rather of what i think we have left to finish up on the f10 before i would consider it a uh, wrap ready where we left off a couple weeks ago with the front bumper as much as i wanted to have that part checked off uh considering how much work went into uh getting it to how it is now Unfortunately, I don't think it's 100% ready to go. After sitting for a couple of days and letting the paint dry and stuff, and I've like looked it over, there's a couple of spots that I think if we tried to wrap it the way it is, it would really show through. And the front of the car just being a huge like eye catch point, I, I don't feel comfortable really leaving it like that. I, I wouldn't feel right trying to wrap over that. So we will have a little bit more work to do on the front bumper. That won't be in today's video, but what we have left to do is as follows on the driver's a pillar there's a dent there i have a dent on my driver's front door i have a dent near the fuel door the passenger side skirt has to come off and i have to repair some damage on that and then i have quite a few spots on the rear bumper that i need to address but other than that i think that is everything um i haven't done a deep dive into the car and really tried to nitpick every single rock chip and tiny tiny little dent that you can only see in certain angles and lighting and stuff but what i mentioned just now are the big ones that i've that have been really obvious to me and have been really uh clear and apparent so hopefully by the end of today's video we'll have uh most if not all of that stuff uh finished up repaired and have the car pretty much ready to go so what I'm going to do, because uh, I don't think really watching somebody on YouTube just sand their car endlessly is very fun content to watch. What we're going to do instead is I'm just going to kind of give you updates as I finish up certain things or um, parts where I think uh, are worth noting. Or if something crazy happens while I'm trying to sand and bondo, like maybe I'll... Uh, keep you guys in the loop on that but otherwise we're just going to check stuff off and hopefully like i said by the end of the video we have most if not all of the stuff uh taken care of on the car so with that let's uh hop right into it all right so starting off on a good note we can actually check something off of the checklist pretty much immediately so when i got home from work last night i actually started this entire process by removing the passenger side skirt off of the car in order to repair it, I didn't want to be really low on the ground or laying on the ground trying to sand everything. So I removed it from the car. And as much as that pained me, uh, I think kind of the theme of this is sort of one step back for two steps forward. Hopefully it'll work out the way I want. But essentially, once I got it off of the car and had the side skirt extension removed, I was able to start leveling out all of the spots that needed addressing. And once everything was leveled out, I applied Bondo similar to how I did on the front bumper and just sort of sanded everything down but what i did differently this time that i didn't do on the front bumper that i think maybe i should have is i went all the way up to a thousand grit sandpaper because now that i have the front bumper painted i can kind of see that there's some areas that are pretty rough that i think would have benefited from a higher grit sandpaper on the front bumper i only got to 400 grit and i kind of commented in that video because this is all sort of new for me i'm kind of doing this on the fly i'm kind of learning as i go and i made a comment about how i don't know if i'm doing any of this right i'm just kind of doing what feels right and doing the stuff that i see in other videos so i learned from my mistake on that uh in regards to the side skirt again i sanded it all with a thousand grit so what i think i can get away with now is just sort of lightly applying a coat of primer only around the areas where i bondoed and wet sanding that area and then the side skirt should be ready to be wrapped it feels really smooth it feels really good and I think we could officially call that maybe minus the primer checked off. And so what we're going to move on to now is the rear bumper because uh, the rear bumper, 
most definitely has the most problem areas that need to be addressed as opposed to each individual dent that I have to handle. And I think getting that checked off the list will make the other items that need to be addressed uh, fly by. I don't think those will take very long at all, but the rear bumper has, like I said, quite a few problem areas. So we're gonna hop into that and I will update you guys as we sort of check off milestones. Like once I have it sanded, once I have it bonded, once I have it ready to be primed a little bit, uh, I'll update you guys then. So here we go. All right, so I've gone ahead and sanded all of the uh, high spots and all of the little parts of the bumper that I think need addressing. And it looks like a lot, especially on this side, but these are all just kind of like the little pits and stuff. They're not really gnarly, but I'll probably just Bondo the majority of this, but while the Bondo is drying on here, I'm gonna move over and start sanding down the other parts of the car that are gonna need Bondo. And hopefully we can kind of, you know, work back and forth and sort of while one's drying, sand the other one. And then while that's drying and we could sand the other one. So I'm gonna move on to putting Bondo onto this and then we'll get going on the other parts of the car. All right, so while the Bondo was drying on the rear bumper, I actually had enough time to kind of come over to the other dents on the car, on the body, and sand them down and apply primer, or not primer, Bondo to these dents as well. So they're currently drying. Let me show you guys. Here's the bumper. This is almost done drying. And then over here, here's the dent right here, and the dent on the A pillar. But I think once all of this is dry and once all of it, oh, let me brighten this up. Oh my. Once all of this is dry and I could sand all of this, I don't know if I'll get around to painting everything today, but I mean, with where everything stands right now, assuming I don't have to rebondo anything, which I might have to do, but after this stage and once this part or these parts of the bondo are sanded, the car should be pretty much ready to go. Um, like I just said, I still think I will have to wet sand around the area a little bit, maybe feather it out to kind of blend it into the rest of the paint with the car. But with where it stands and with what we have, I think we're almost done. We're almost done wrapping it up. Um, I don't think I'm going to get as gnarly on the rear bumper. I don't think I'm going to remove it and paint the entire thing like I did the front bumper. But um, that will kind of depend on how smooth and how uh well we kind of get rid of all the little scratches and dents and scuffs and stuff so i'll catch you guys up as soon as this is dried and i've sanded a little bit of it but uh but yeah man everything is looking good so far so awesome all right man if my face looks a little funky it's because i've been wearing a mask the entire time i've been sanding this down but check it out so let's see if i have to adjust the brightness on here i do so i just applied the last uh, amount of Bondo I'm gonna need on here. I did one, uh, I guess, layer of Bondo and then sanded it down and found a couple other low spots, but that should be handled. I gotta sand that down, but the bumper is, I wanna say, all done. Let me brighten it a little bit. Everything is pretty much leveled out. It looks pretty gnarly, but everything is pretty even. You could tell, like, this side is the one I was telling you that had the scuff on it that looked like it had been hit at some point. So that's why this side is like pretty gnarly, but um, look at this crazy setup. Um, this A pillar dent that I had, I ended up getting Bondo under here and I wasn't able to sand it until I kind of covered all of this up, but it is perfectly smooth. So I'm gonna go back over this. I'm gonna go back over everything with 400 grit and then inevitably a thousand grit. And I'll probably get a little bit of primer on here tonight because this is exposed metal over here. But And then regarding the last dent I have, kind of similar to the one on the rear quarter by the fuel door. I had done one layer on here and it uh, was almost good enough, but there was a tiny little divot still in there. So I added a little bit more and we're going to sand this down as soon as it dries. But I would say that we're pretty much wrapped up here. Um, I'm going to give the, uh, the Bondo probably like 15 20 minutes to dry and then i will go back over the spots that i just applied bondo with the really aggressive stuff and get it leveled out and then i'll go back through go over everything with 400 grit and then a thousand grit i'll get primer on that one spot on the a pillar and then we should be able to wrap this up man um and you know 
I think we should be able to get it pretty much dialed and call the F10 ready for wrap after today's video, minus a couple little things. I do have to go over and clay bar everything because, you know, who knows how well the paint's been taken care of, uh, like before I got the car. But yeah, man, uh, hopefully the next clip, everything should be pretty much um, wrapped up. Wow, you guys. Um, it's been a couple of hours, but I think we got it all wrapped up. Let me show you what we're working with here. So, the rear bumper. I cleaned everything off, or rather I rinsed everything off to kind of get the dust off and see what we're working with. But overall, I think the rear bumper is all good. Everything is really smooth if you hear that i ended up going over everything everything that i did on or in today's video with up to 2000 grit i don't know if that's too much but it feels really smooth i i think the wrap shouldn't have a hard time sticking to any of this but it looks good you know what i mean it looks done at least but i think we could officially cross rear bumper off the list now as for the spot that's right here again i went over it with 2000 grit um truthfully you can kind of see there's almost like a few low spots right here but they're hardly noticeable to be honest i don't i don't think this will be like a big deal i'm not gonna bother trying to redo this to perfection i'm sure there's spots on the car that i'll miss but this is perfectly fine for me so i think we could officially call this spot checked off moving over here to the door this one ended up coming out pretty good um Again, you can't even really tell, but the problem area was right here, and this is where I ended up almost going all the way to metal, but uh, I feathered it out pretty far, so, but if you listen, it's pretty smooth, so I don't think, again, we'll have any problems wrapping over this, so I think we can cross the front driver's door, checked off, and then last but not least, now I know this looks really funky, but this spot... I ended up getting down to bare metal. So what I did is I taped off just this little section and put some primer over it, a really light layer of primer. But if you could tell, perfectly flat. And so what I'm gonna do before I put the wrap on, obviously, is I'll wet sand this and kind of break this down a little bit and feather it into the paint a little better. But I just wanted to get this covered up because I didn't want the exposed metal to um, rust or anything. I live kind of near the coast so I didn't want to risk anything because I don't know how long exactly until I have the car wrapped but I think we could officially call this spot checked off. So I think that's about it man. I think uh, ultimately the car is ready to be wrapped. I mean like I said minus the fact that I have to wet sand everything. I still have to remove my wing which kind of sucks but um, that's on the checklist. That'll be another day and then of course I have to uh fix some spots on the front bumper but i think for now once the wrap comes in i could uh wash the car really good i could start uh clay barring certain areas like the doors and stuff maybe even the hood and start getting the car piece by piece officially wrapped so uh so yeah man uh nothing really really exciting in today's video but definitely a lot of progress uh i don't know if i've mentioned it before but i think with everything i've done with the f10 I think once the car is wrapped, that'll be probably the period at the end of uh, stage one. I think that'll be it. I think I'll be to the point with this car that I'm happy with. I'll have to decide if I want to do anything else with it. Uh, I have a couple ideas, to be honest with you, and I don't know if keeping the F10 is going to you know, benefit what I have in mind. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on. But I would like to finish it. I'm excited to finish it. And I'm excited for you guys to check it out. And hopefully you're excited to have watched the process of how far this car's come in the last, I don't know, like eight months, man. So it's been really fun. This video, dude, uh, I hate Bondo. I hate sanding stuff, but it is what it is. You know, just one step at a time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.